diagrams help explain the true nature of the original word. For example, let's think about Elvis. Did he die in 1977, like many say? Or is he still alive, like many others say? The magic of language will tell us that if we search a little, Elvis really lives. <laughs> Anagrams are fantastic. <laughs> they take the same letters and create two words. Visually! <laughs> when they take the letters F, L, E, V, I <laughs> and create <laughs> Elvis <laughs> or take those same letters <laughs> rearrange them <laughs> and get <laughs> <laughs> Live. <laughs> 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 can make two separate. Yeah, connect. <laughs> <laughs> All anagrams tonight are real. Working anagram. No extra letters added, no one taken away. No monkey business here tonight, folks. We, all, we are all focused missionaries. That is, we are each called to be an evangelist. In our work, we will have one enemy. Who is that enemy? None other than the devil's agent. We're oh. at work right now. <laughs> <laughs> FICTION! <laughs> now we're learning to fight against the devil's agents here at training and hopefully in the four weeks we've been here your dormitory has not turned into a dirty room. Wow. Living a holy life is a hard thing to do. For inspiration, we look to the saints. Look no further than Augustine of, his, of, of Hippo. He shows us that it is it's, that it's more than possible to go from stained to sainted. <laughs> <laughs> We've learned a lot here at Focus Training, especially in our MPD class. John Zimmer talked to us about being financially healthy. He helped us realize how easily a debit card can turn into bad credit. <laughs> With Patrick Tell, we will be amazed. We will be amazing at MPD and reach our 10-7 numbers. None of us will turn into a shoplifter. <laughs> One who has a silk <laughs> A question. Rebecca. Yes, Duncan. How many place settings were needed at the Last Supper? Let's see. There was Jesus and the 12 disciples, so that should make 13. Okay, thank you. Yes. Now, um. I wonder how the person who was setting the table counted everything out. Do you think they were thinking 12 plus 1? <laughs> or did they count it out 11 plus 2? <laughs> <laughs> When we get on campus, we will be having a ton of conversations with students. Hopefully, our conversations, hopefully, in our conversation, we won't hear 
voices rant on. <laughs> <laughs> And if that happens, we need to remember that before we speak, we must listen. And sometimes, the easiest way to listen is to be silent. Tonight, we've talked about anagrams. Another fascinating part of language is idioms. Idioms are neat phrases we use in everyday language. In everyday language. In English, time flies, but in Spanish, time runs. Have fun with idiom. Make up your own. Heck, time could hop. And it's easy to see how time could hop. You only have to look at the second hand to see how clocks hop. <laughs> And it takes but only a few seconds no. No. to chop clock. No! 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 no. Get off stage.